morning, y'all. So just got back done. Just got back from uh, doing a workout. And um, the things I wanted to share with you all today is, you know, I was thinking about this is around the time that churches start to do their fasting, you know. And I know that fasting is a time for you to meditate and pray. Um, but also, hey, hi, hold on, boo. <laughs> Girl, hold up, I was trying to take a video. <laughs> I'm doing my YouTube video. Y'all, everybody say hey to my friend. <laughs> You on camera. <laughs> it's all good, girl. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I ran into one of my homegirls who I work out with sometimes, but um, as I was saying, you know, fasting is to obviously bring you closer to God. Um, also help you to eliminate some of the things that are really not healthy for you and fasting is a great way to just gain more strength and I know this video is so dark because it's like six in the morning sun hadn't come out yet but um I have to maybe cut all the light hold up here Sheesh. okay so you know besides you know fasting for a spiritual purpose uh oh Y'all, I can't be videotaping it. I got the popo here, Lord. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me act like. Okay, boom. So, um, you know, basically, it is, you know what, I'm gonna have to pause, pause. I just got a testimony that just happened to me. So I just pulled into the store um, and there was a young lady who was coming in right before me and she said, hey, are you getting gas? And I said, no. She said, well, there's some, you know, some few change left on pump one. She said, so the next person who pulls up, you know, you should be more than welcome to keep it. I just wanted to donate it. I'm like, oh, okay. So as I went into, you know, I wasn't getting gas and honestly, I'm trying to get my tea so I can go ahead and hurry up and get back into the house. I mean, get back to the house. So I got to get ready for work. And so, um, the, the man, I went to tell the man at the cash register. So when I came up and I got my coffee or my tea, he actually gave me my money back. So I actually got my money back for my drink, which was supposed to be, I guess the money that the lady left on the, on the pump, which you know, it, it may not have been a lot, but I'm thankful. Even little blessings, you know, different things that happen. You just never know. Um, last week when I was at work, this lady all out of the blue, she, the patient that I actually see all the time, I was in there talking to her and she goes, you know, I just want to give you something, you know, and, and honestly, I, I may not, I sh probably shouldn't be talking about this, but I'm just showing you how God works. So she said to me um i just want to give you something she said because you always been so kind and so nice when i come into the office and you know i'm gonna be real it's not I, I always try to go into work with a positive attitude no matter what has happened in my life or what's going on with me and you know some days you have your good days some days you have your bad days because you just talk to different people and deal with so many different attitudes so many different Aura, so many different vibes of different people coming in some people may be sad they may have a depressed uh, vibe on them some people may be just have a nasty attitude for no reason you know and have that type of attitude about them and I always just try to you know diffuse the situation and go about the day and try to be helpful so this lady out of the blue she says here I just want to give you something and when I look down you know she she gave me some money it was it was more than I can't say the amount and it wasn't a lot but it was more than eight dollars you know so it was enough to you know maybe get me some lunch and I'm just like wow God you're just so awesome you know and when I think about these random acts and the different things that have happened in my life there's so many times where you didn't even see it coming 
I just get blessings, blessings on blessings on blessings. So I just wanted to encourage someone today. You know, you may be going throughout your day thinking that what you do isn't noticed or isn't appreciated, but it is. And if you continue to be how you are and don't change, depending on circumstances, God's going to open up a blessing for you that you won't have room enough to receive. You have to always be thankful, even for the little things, even when it thinks, even when things look like they're not going to improve, it, when it looks like your situation is not getting better. I'm telling you, God is always shining down upon you and he sees your effort. He sees your, your hard work that's done, you know, behind closed doors and no one sees no one pays attention to so I'm just here to tell you go about your day stay in a positive mind frame um, when you deal with negative people don't entertain that block it block get it get great at blocking stuff out of your life get great at blocking negative attitudes and negative people block I'm, I'm, I'm block all day you know I'm just like I don't want to entertain it because it only brings you down to their level and it only blocks your blessing when you entertain negativity so be uplifting to people be up encouraging the world don't have enough of that you know we live in a, in a world that people don't even speak to each other when they walk down the street that ain't how I was raised personally I may not know you but I can open up my mouth or I can do a head nod or you know hey how you doing and keep it moving and we don't have enough of that you know so do something different today you know make eye contact with people a lot of people don't even make eye contact with people when you're walking down the street you know you see somebody or when I see another young lady who's beautiful I might compliment her I might say hey you know I like your hair your shoes looking fly your outfit whatever you know I feel like as black women we need to support one another more we don't do that enough you know there's so much hating and negativity and all this drama like leave let that stuff go even the beautifulness of beautiful baddest chick you know may not have it all together as you think because you never know what's going on behind the the eyes of the beholder you never know what's going on behind um, you know somebody's nice purse and you know Chanel wear and all that other stuff so what I'm saying is you don't know somebody else's struggle so be kind you don't know what they went through. You don't know what they did to get what they got. So unless you know what they have went through and you can you can relate, keep your mouth shut. Don't sit high and judge low. I hate people that want to judge others. Why, why are you judging? You Like you ain't never went through something in your life. We all have. We all have a story. And I could tell you a good, a good one, but... <laughs> Anyways, I'm just saying I'm thankful. So be blessed. Go out, go out into the world and, sh and just shine your light. We need light in this dark world. So shine it and just, you know, radiate. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Uh, it's Tuesday. So talk to y'all later. Bye.
Good morning, everyone. Just finished my 5 a.m. workout. Getting ready to work. Get ready for work. So, um, just wanted to give you all a little update on my fitness. Um, I'm going to be weighing in at the end of this week. Today is February the 29th. So, I'm going to be weighing in at the end of this week. Um, I'm kind of excited to see, you know, where I am at this point. I really haven't gotten a scale since my, I gotten on the scale since my last weigh-in, uh, which was, what, a couple of weeks ago. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be giving you all an update, telling you more about what I've been eating, telling you, you know, what I've been doing at the gym, showing you a couple, a couple of more of my workouts and what I'm doing. So, I hope y'all having a fabulous day out there. Stay hydrated. Make sure you eat right. You know, try to prep your meals out in advance. That's really been helping me. Um, also, try to let go of as many, um, you know, white bread and breaded products. I mean, I know that is hard sometimes because, um, and excuse me, because I know I look rough this morning. I'm sweating and just looking kind of, kind of cray this morning. But you know, try to stay away from as many. Uh, breaded products as possible because that really does destroy your workout um, when you've worked out so hard and you don't want to put all the stuff back on that you just worked off so try your your best to stick with greens protein um, and just fruits really drink a lot of a lot of water I've been drinking a lot of water and I'm just doing this at this point I'm just doing this the old-fashioned way if you want to call it but um, I do have a couple of secrets that I want to share with you all that has helped me. So I'll be telling you a little bit more about that. Um, and that is just some extra things that I've just learned throughout the, you know, throughout the journey, my weight loss and what I've been doing. And that's helped me, that's tremendously helped shave off inches on my waist. Like, I kid you not, those, this little secret that I'm going to tell you, it works. And those inches have been coming off. So I'm going to also do an inch report. And I know that I haven't told y'all um, or showed you about, you know, my measurements to show the inches that I've lost. So with that said, it's Monday. Make it fabulous. Uh, do anything that you can do today that you've been putting off. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and knock the thing on out. You know, make it do what it do. Knock it out, get it done so that you don't have to think about it anymore. So, hope y'all have a fabulous day. My 5 a.m. workout is complete. Goodbye, Club Fitness, LA Fitness. It's time to go home and get ready for my job. Bye. <laughs> Peace.